As of 21st July 2022, monarch butterflies, one of the most well-known insects, are on the red list of the IUCN or International Union of Conservation of Nature. This is the endangered migratory monarch butterfly, scientifically known as Renaus plexippus plexippus. It is a subspecies of monarchs understood by its trinomial name. We humans are also a subspecies, Homo sapiens sapiens. That is not the point of today's video. The point is why the butterflies have reached the IUCN's red list. According to their website, the IUCN red list is a critical indicator of the health of the world's biodiversity. It is basically the inventory of conservation status of different species. Conservation status reflects a species' risk of extinction, ranging from statuses of least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, extinct in wilderness, and extinct going in order from least extinction risk to most. Monarch butterflies fall in the endangered category, facing a higher risk of extinction in the wild. Obviously, this isn't good. Why are they even on the red list? And more importantly, why now? Populations of monarch butterflies have taken a toll because of us. Let me explain. These butterflies are famously known for their migration patterns, in which they can travel up to 4,500 kilometers. They migrate in order to escape the cold winters faced in the northern regions of North America where they live. They breed and lay their eggs on poisonous milkweed plants, which makes their caterpillars which eat them, as well as their adult stage, poisonous. This is why they have these bright colors, to warn predators that they will get sick if they try to eat the butterfly. This is known as aposematic coloration, by the way. How does all of this relate to their endangerment, you may ask? Well, we humans have cleared out these milkweed forests and sprayed pesticides on the ones which we grow, which ends up killing the eggs and caterpillars. Not only that, even climate change has reduced their populations. Due to increased hurricanes and droughts in the southern regions of their native continent, monarchs have not been able to cope up with these changes. Monarch butterflies were actually considered endangered for years now, with their populations having dwindled between 20 to even 90% in the past decade. Populations of these butterflies living in different regions of North America have decreased with varying percentages, none of them being good. These insects were earlier listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. For reasons which are linked in the description below, only now have they been officially declared as endangered. It is sad to know that the most famous butterfly species is now endangered. Only around 1% of all insects have been assessed by the IUCN. So having the most famous ones on the red list is very significant. Do we have hope for monarchs? There is actually, in fact, something we can do in order to help them thrive and flourish once more. Viewers in North America can plant their native milkweed, which serves as a host plant for their caterpillars. And as for people elsewhere, we can be involved in community science programs to keep track of information about these insects, spreading awareness, and finally donating to trusted organizations such as IUCN looking to do something about the situation. I will link research articles provided by the IUCN and National Geographic for more detail on their endangerment. Do read them. I hope you guys were educated by this video. Endangerment of a species is certainly not something to enjoy. So do consider clicking on the links below. Also, you can spread awareness by sharing this video and subscribing to ABSE. This is ABSE signing out. Flutter on and goodbye.